Thanks for tuning in again. It's uh, it's great to be here, and I got a special guest, Miss uh, Tamisha Graves here, my uh, my fiance. So. How y'all doing? Uh, she's a she's a gym teacher, but we'll get into that a little later. She's a uh, uh, high energy and she really keeps me on, on my toes so to speak so <laughs> <laughs> um, basically what we're gonna do today is a little Q&A just quick Q&A about uh, our lifestyle our some of the things we like to do together and some of the things we like to do as, as athletes and, and um, as current athletes and as former athletes and as future aspiring athletes or whatever so um, I just have a few questions for her, and hopefully uh, you guys get to uh, to learn a little bit about her, and it, uh, it's interesting to you. So, don't forget to comment and rate and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. So, uh, first question I have for you, Missy, is um, you can't really tell from from her sitting down, but she's she's pretty tall. So uh, you were an athlete, um, college basketball player. What was what was it about basketball that drew you in? That was fascinating to you. You know, I've never had anybody ask me that question. Um, I used to go visit my dad in the summers. My dad, North Carolina, Greensboro, that's where I'm from. And my mom made my schedule so she, that I was put into athletics and basketball was the sport I liked the best. I guess probably because I didn't like spandex and it was either bas basketball or volleyball. And I like baggy clothes, so basketball is what I stuck to. And I'm real aggressive and physical. I like to, you know, move around, bow people. She's, uh, this is a funny little tidbit, but her and I actually have the same size feet, which is, which is really funny. Um, I don't know if that says she's got big feet or I got little one. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but um, one of the cool things as well is that uh, when, when I get orders of, of spikes that come in, she gets to, uh, to try them on. And I don't know, there's been a few times you actually uh, laced them up and came out to the track with me and did a few workouts with Coach Stratton. So... Um, and he's been around the sport a really long time, and he was he was pretty adamant that uh, that I think you missed. He thinks you missed your calling. So uh, give us a little um, insight into what your life would have been if you had have chose track. Do you think uh, it would have been as successful as basketball, or how do you how do you take on that? I don't know, cause I never had a good track coach. So um, I actually tried to run track when I was in high school one year at the colony, but I mean no one really worked with me. They were like, go run show up and then I had basket. I played AAU so I would go to the basketball game instead of the track so who knows but I always get judged by my body oh you run track what event do you run? I was like no nah, basketball <laughs> so I probably did miss my calling but I never had anybody really work with me good coaches are hard to find um I know this is probably biased because you've hung around with me for a while but are you interested in track? Is track something that you're fascinated with? <sighs> Am I interested? Now that I've met Jared I'm all in a track. At first um, not really but I've become a fan definitely because of him. What, uh, what's your favorite event? What are, what are some things you like? The 200. Watch? My favorite event especially for him. I love watching the 200 because it's a little bit longer than the 100 and I think it shows a lot of strength and endurance and when he starts running you get the little Swag. I don't know who he turns to somebody totally different, but I love. I like two hundred. Yeah, that's a, I think that I think the the two hundred is for me is is a is a pretty interesting race because um, you get those athletes that can step up from the hundred, and you also get the athletes that can come down from the from the four hundred, like mm -hmm. Marie Jose Perec or Kathy Freeman, or on the men's side like Michael Johnson, and so yeah, it's a pretty pretty fun event to do, and it's probably my favorite as well. So. Um, you're currently a DISD. For those of you who don't know, DISD is Dallas Independent School District um, gym teacher uh, or PE coach. Uh, so give us a little insight into some of the challenges and some of the obstacles and some of the the, the benefits of having a job like oh, that. Lord. Okay, um, pre-K through eighth grade, all the grades I work with. And um, I think the biggest challenge, probably the younger kids, um, they're four years old, coordination is not there, and they basically start from scratch. And, I think um, the biggest challenge I have is probably them going to the bathroom. I had a couple people use the restroom on my floor, but other than that, it's really easy to get my students motivated because I'm, like Jared said, very high energy, super energetic, very positive and motivating. Um, I guess my, that's probably not my biggest challenge. What about um, sort of future, let's say, 15-year aspirations, like as far as career goes? What would you like to be? Would you well, like to be a teacher, or would you like to branch out? I'm not. 15 years is really far advanced, especially in my career right now. I love what I do. Um, I have background in exercise physiology, have a master's degree in it, and 
with my degrees and Jared's great talent and knowledge, um, eventually I think him and I would like to go into business. Toot toot. Anyways, go into business and really focus on developing uh, younger kids into great athletes. What would we call it if we did it? I don't know. Oh. Leave in the comments what, uh, what name you'd like to, uh, to see us eventually mm -hmm. give our uh, company. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like that idea. I think the, the idea of, of spreading um, knowledge about fitness and, and, and ultimately <laughs> allowing some of the <clears throat> skills we've acquired over the years to, to give back to the community. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys uh, got a little uh, to know Miss Miss Graves a little better. Soon to be Miss Canaton. <laughs> December seventeenth, twenty eleven, Montego Bay destination win. Mm, should be fun. So book book your tickets now if you're invited. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, tune in next week. I don't know what I'll bring in, what to, what's going to top this, but uh, hopefully you like what you see and uh, you continue to, uh, to tune in. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.